Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today include the launch of BitTorrent's Tron based token, the proof of keys movement, and the 10 year anniversary of the Bitcoin Genesis block. Stay tuned for more. I'm Eero Sun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. BitTorrent, who is often brought up as the pioneer of the peer to peer network, has decided to launch its native cryptocurrency using the Tron network. Dubbed BTT, BitTorrent plans to launch BTT to optimize network speed and allow faster downloads using crypto. According to the press release, users will be able to pay other users to share the files that they have and pay for server bandwidth using BTT. In an attempt to incentivize users to contribute to the network, BTT will also serve as a compensation model within the BitTorrent network. The token will be made available on Binance Launchpad only to non-US accounts. And in the coming days, the firm plans to conduct a selective airdrop where details of the event will be announced by Tron CEO Justin Sun on the company's Twitter page. While BTT plans to first apply the system to the Windows version of uTorrent client, Detailed disclosure on the collaboration of Tron and BitTorrent is set to be released at the 2019 Nitron Summit in September. The retail giant Overstock has announced plans to pay parts of its taxes using Bitcoin. Last year, the state of Ohio announced that it was going to start accepting Bitcoin from businesses when paying taxes. In an interview with the Fortune, Josh Mendel, the treasurer of Ohio, stated that firms making Bitcoin payments would be able to cut 1.5% in transfer fees under the new payment method. As one of the first major companies to pay taxes in crypto, Overstock will start paying taxes in Bitcoin as of this February. According to its official press release, the firm stated that it had been keeping a close eye on the government adoption of cryptocurrencies. And following the launch of the state's crypto payment platform, OhioCrypto.com, it will lead the way by applying the new technology for tax payments. Overstock has long been an enthusiast of cryptocurrencies and blockchain, and this will hopefully see more adoption of cryptocurrencies in consumer markets in the coming future. The proof of keys movement has been shaking the crypto industry over the past few days. Now, proof of keys is not a new consensus algorithm, nor is a new wallet security tool. Rather, it is a crypto movement started by Trace Mayer challenging decentralization of cryptocurrencies. The idea behind the movement is to have traders move their assets from a wallet controlled by a third party to a wallet of their own. In turn, this would ensure that exchanges are indeed in possession of funds they claim. The movement caught the attention of many when Trace Mayer, an early investor of Bitcoin, accused HitBTC of freezing his account withdrawals just before the initiation of Proof of Keys movement. While the exchange denied the allegations, the news went viral and more supporters of the ideology joined the movement. Tackling the problem of crypto centralization, exchanges around the world are now taking steps to allow the fluid withdrawal of user assets. However, with some exchanges being accused of delaying withdrawals, traders are being advised to join the movement to prevent the centralization of crypto assets. Yesterday, January the 3rd, marked the 10th anniversary of the Bitcoin Genesis block, and media portals around the world took the time to look back at the very beginning of the Bitcoin network and Satoshi's block zero. On January 3rd, 2009, with the reward of 50 bitcoins, an anonymous identity named Satoshi Nakamoto coded and launched the Bitcoin network. However, upon looking at the hexadecimal of the Genesis block, it was found that Satoshi Nakamoto had embedded an encrypted version of an article from the English newspaper The Times entitled Chancellor on Brink of Second Bailout for Banks. Context-wise, the code is said to be a response to the 2008 economic crisis and the subsequent bank bailouts. While there is some debates as to what this message refers to and who Satoshi Nakamoto is, the Genesis block reward still sits in the same account and the mystery continues. Bringing you the latest news, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.